Yes guys, this is guys guys, so welcome back to another video. This is a match reaction to the game I've just watched. Real Madrid vs Man City, Champions League semi-final, everything was on it. I mean, it was a stunning first leg. Man City obviously winning 4-3, an absolute thriller of a game, seven goals. I mean, could it live up to expectations? It certainly did in the last parts of the game. What can I say? Honestly, I know, I know I'm a Spurs fan, but ultimately I'm a football fan and, and Premier League fan. And I did want Man City to go through there. I'm actually kind of disappointed they didn't go through. I want Pep to get that Champions League final at Man City. I mean, get that Champions League win at Man City. Obviously, he got to the final and got beat by Chelsea last year. But I thought this year could be the one where they go and conquer the Champions League. But they go again next year. I mean, where do I start? Okay, the Riyad Mahrez goal. Um, I actually didn't see the whole game. I saw most of the game. Um, however, um, there was about a 15 minute period which I didn't see and apparently Mahrez was not great before his excellent finish. Um, I, mean, I mean, fair play to Pep Guardiola. He kept... <coughs> oh, little cough. He kept him on during the game and fair play because it was a hell of a finish. He steps up in big games. 24 goals this season for Ed Mahrez. He scored two in the second leg last year against PSG. He scored one in the first leg against PSG last year. And he scored one in the second leg against Real Madrid this year. Unbelievable clutch player. One of my favourite players to watch in the whole world. Especially in the Premier League. And look, his left foot is just a thing of beauty. And no one was expecting that near post finish, but he did it. After that, Real Madrid, you thought surely, um, surely they're beaten now. They can't come back from this, but... Rodrigo, of course, he didn't start the game, but he came on and brought that Brazilian flair. I thought he was absolutely excellent. I mean, the first goal was just a sublime goal from Real Madrid. It's such a good team goal. Benzema, of course, involved with the assist. Rodrigo gets there first before the defender and Edison and taps it home. Um, brilliant finish. Second goal. What a header. I, can't, I think it was... Who was it that crossed it in? I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was a hell of a finish. The leap, I think Asensio got a touch onto it and it was a hell of a leap. I actually saw when I first saw it, I thought well, that must have come off his shoulder then because it arrowed into that top left-hand corner incredibly. Uh, it was an amazing header, top left-hand corner. Unbelievable it was from him. Um, but yeah, what a two couple of goals though for Rodrigo. And then it went to extra time, of course. Benzema... I mean, it was a brilliant penalty. I saw the penalty, but, I mean, the penalty instant. I mean, he did sort of win the ball, but, of course, he did take him out as well. Um, and Benzema just dispatched it brilliantly. Arrowed it into the bottom corner. It literally hit the stanchion in the back of the goal. It was a smooth finish. Um, sent Edison the wrong way. I was thinking, I was saying to my brother, imagine if he Penenka's this. This would be insane. Of course, he was never going to. Much of Edison just stayed down the middle and he chipped it to him and he caught it. Oh, um, but yeah, to be honest, after that, the referee I thought was pretty dodgy. I think there was one where Edmund Atal was, was struggling the whole extra time, parts of the second half as well. He jumped ahead of a ball over Foden. Foden didn't even do anything. He actually tried to get out of the way. He actually ducked. And for some reason, he thought it was a foul against Foden. And he gave the free kick to Real Madrid. I thought that was quite a suspect call. Um... And then at the end, I don't know if you guys realised, but he actually blowed 15 seconds early. Well, it said that on the BT Sport timer anyway. Um, he must have been put under pressure from the whole um, Real Madrid like fans and all of that. Or the BT Sport thing just got their timer wrong, which is a possibility as well. But, I mean, obviously they were time-wasting a lot after that, which you'd expect them to do. But I hate how those Spanish teams do it. They just wriggle around for ages like they've been shot. It's really annoying. Um, but of course, Real Madrid and the professionals, they are fair play to them because they didn't have Cruz and Modric on the pitch. They didn't have that much experience. But Camavinga stepped up a lot, I thought, since he came on. Um, they had a young midfield in there, young team, really. But they dealt with it very well. Of course, after Liverpool knocked out Villarreal yesterday, Salah got asked who he'd want in the final. And he did say Real Madrid. He wanted some, he wanted some revenge. Um... Of course, last time he actually paid Real Madrid in the Champions League final. Um, he got that remember famous injury where he um got locked, his arm got locked in uh, Ramos, which apparently, or some people say, he did it on purpose to injure him. Um, 
And of course, he went off injured for the whole game. They lost that 3-1. Karras had a shocker. It was that what Champions League final. But of course, Liverpool Madrid again. Who do I think is going to win? To be honest, I think Real Madrid might take it. I think with the experience there, of course, they'll have Alaba back. Um, he was actually on the bench, but of course, you could see in the celebrations after, he was clearly injured. He was limping the whole time when they were doing all their celebrations. I think just for their experience, I know Liverpool were incredible in competitions, they had one-off games, and they might just turn up, but it's also the team section for Liverpool. Who do they play, especially in that front three? You've got Mane and Salah that definitely play, and then if you choose Jota, who's a natural finisher, or you choose Diaz, who might be more suited to that game, I think more suited to like the Spanish style, so it might offer something a bit different. They might just have to play with a false nine, false number nine, or they play with Salah up front. Look, there's plenty of options, um, but I actually reckon Real Madrid might nick it. Just got a sneaky feeling Real Madrid might go on and nick it. I mean, at the start of the season and the Champions League season, Real Madrid were really, really bad. I think they lost to Sheriff. People were saying, oh, they're completely finished. Don Carlo, <laughs> you have to call him Don Carlo now because it's incredible what he's done with this team. Um... I mean, after losing Ronaldo, you would never expect so soon, really. I know it doesn't seem that soon, but not that long after that they're in a Champions League final game and could potentially go and win it. It's unbelievable. <sighs> unbelievable. So I'm predicting Real Madrid to actually go and win the Champions League now in Paris, of course, after it was changed from Istanbul. So that is my match reaction. My next vlog will be this Sunday. I'm going to Arsenal Leeds. What a massive game. That is going to be in the trend for the top four. Of course, Liverpool playing Spurs at Anfield after their heroic efforts to come back and win against Villarreal. Of course, it's not going to be an easy game for Spurs. I've got a sneaky feeling we might get a 2-2 draw. So if we do get a 2-2 draw, come back to this video because I said it. Um, so yeah, that will be a monumental game in the top four race. Of course, if Arsenal win, they go five points in the top four. But then we have the North London derby. So if we win, it goes back to two points. Then they have away games at Newcastle, which will be a very hard game. Look, there's still plenty to play for in this top four race. Plenty to play for in the Champions League, Premier League, other continental leagues. leagues. <laughs> but look, my next game is Arsenal vs Leeds. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel for that. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be such an important game, so you won't want to miss it. In this video, can we get 10 likes on this video? Um, of course, as I said, subscribe down below. Follow all my social medias. But until my next video, I'll be back very, very soon. See you later.